doing, YouTube? I'm glad to see you're here, guys. Glad to see you're back. Yeah, this is uh, this is just another one, a uh, little winter scene, and it'll probably be the last. This is a leftover from uh, the holiday season, another Christmas one. And in truth, I intended to post this one before the Christmas season hit, but I'll tell you the truth, man. We had uh, visitors from a couple different states and three different states. Yeah, three different states. And it spread out over two weeks that we had folks either staying in the house or in hotels near. And man, I just got swamped. So for those of you who were anxiously awaiting the next video, I do apologize. Hope you had a happy holiday season and uh, happy new year, man. It's a new year, 2018. Oh my gosh. It's amazing how fast it goes along. Well, let's see. This is a little church in Corrales, New Mexico. And if you ever get to New Mexico, this is a classic, man. It was a mission church. There's a lot of history that goes along with it. It's a fun place to paint. And uh, it's right across the street from a small museum. That is, uh, I think it's called Casa San Isidro. It's the uh, Guterres Ming House. And I won't tell you too much of that. I may, may do a video on that one. But, uh, yeah, this, this church wasn't originally in this location. There was one built in the, uh, I think it was the late 1700s. And it was a lot closer to the river and got flooded out and destroyed. And one of the things, and of course, everything I tell you, you're going to have to check out for yourself because I don't make any claims to be an authority on history. I just enjoy these things, so you kind of have to take them, uh, not with necessarily with a grain of salt, but I think, you know, Mark Twain said it best. He said, I'm getting older, and, and I can remember fewer and fewer things, or I'm getting more forgetful, and he said, very f soon, I fear, or something to this effect, I will remember nothing but the things that never happened. <laughs> So anyway, I do make an effort to give you some history, but, but don't take me verbatim. Check it out for yourself. There's lots of websites on this San Ysidro Church in Corrales. And uh, yeah, on this church, when they built it, some of the, in, in the 1700s, it was the custom, I think, to bury people under the church. Hallowed ground kind of thing. So, in any case, I, I believe there's a list somewhere on this church. I didn't take time to go see it. I probably should have. But there are people that were transferred, I think, from the original church when it got flooded out. And uh, they're buried under this church. And this church, uh, you know, the original church was built before George Washington was president and they were flooded out before George Washington was president. And this one, I believe, was uh, built in 1868. That's a couple days ago. So it's got a little history under the belt. And like I say, it's a beautiful place to paint. I've painted this church several different times. The, um, the trees in the background, I just uh, cheated for the holiday season. For those of you who make your own Christmas cards and stuff like that, the pine trees don't really exist there when you see the photograph. Of course, this is a year with almost no snow in New Mexico. So the snow is all uh, put in by me. But there's a big graveyard across the street, too. And... Uh, there's, I think, a lot of graves there from like the late 1700s and early 1800s that are, are no longer maintained. The graveyard is uh, looks kind of empty in front, but they, it's not really empty. There's people down under there. So uh, let's see. What can I tell you about this one? 
It's about 12 Corrales. New Mexico is about 10 miles northwest from Old Town. And uh, it's believed that most of the indigenous people were gone before uh, Cortez came up there in, in uh, the 1500s. What was it? 1540, I can't remember when he came up there. But uh, they found a lot of, uh, there's a lot of evidence of, uh, of indigenous people. There's, was, there's been two Pueblos found. In fact, this church may well have been built on or near a, an old Pueblo. And uh, there's pit houses there. They found pit houses there, which pit houses go way back if you study archaeology or any, anything like that. Yeah, there was a flood and uh, that destroyed the first church. And then there was another flood in 1904. And, you know, I think back in the 1700s, people waded across the river if they went across the river. I know that uh, the city of Las Lunas or the village of Las Lunas is split up the same way. It really didn't used to be on both sides of the river because people couldn't cross it. And that's about... 40 miles south of Corrales until the rivers and then in, in, until the bridges were built and then uh, they did build bridges but in 19 early 1900s 1904 a flood destroyed the bridge so and now of course it's all you know Albuquerque is kind of one community it's like uh, if you go to Los Angeles or probably in New York same thing where these places all used to be separate little villages, and now it's just one big, you know, accumulated, uh, incorporated area. Although Corrales is an incorporated area, I think of its own, not not part of Albuquerque. In this new one, I think there's. Uh, I I'm not sure about this one. I think there's some stained glass in there that was used from the flooded out church and uh, the some of the beams and stuff were used from the flooded out church in this one but there's a historical society for this one and uh, it's a well visited church it's no longer a church these days it's it, it's uh, you know there was a there's a brand new church or well not brand new but you know a newish modern church built just a mile or two from this one uh, this one is uh, run, I believe, by the Historical Society, the Corrales Historical Society, and they rent it out for weddings, and there's music occasionally there, so you, you can get on their website. I believe it's the Corrales Historical Society website, and they, you know, they keep you up to date if you are going to be in the area on things that are happening there. But I've painted there several times, and... Um, I just sit in the parking lot there and no one has ever accosted me or anything like that. It's a wonderful place to paint. And like I say, this view you'll see to the right is, when you see the photograph, is Casa San Ysidro. Or the, uh, yeah, Casa San Ysidro. That was a, um, an old, old house. And then uh, a gentleman that uh, studied history bought artifacts and added on to the house and turned it into a museum. So it's right across the street from this place. And then oddly enough, I, I, my mother wrote a book a while ago. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty interesting little read and she talks about uh, living there in Corrales. She lived just, uh, I think, three doors down from this little church back in the 30s, late 30s. And uh, yeah, it's a neat little book. I'll try and leave a link. It's for sale on Amazon. And uh, I'll also try and leave you a link to the um, Corrales Historical Society in uh, where you can find some information on this little church. Yeah, the interesting part was my mother. My mother wrote a book, and uh, she's currently trying to make a movie short. Well, they're making one, a little, you know, 
uh, eight minute thing to uh, show at film festivals what the, the book is about. So yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. You might want to read it. Uh, if you like to read, which I do. Anyway, so that's the re I was down by that church for my mother's project. And then, oddly enough, one of the groups that I belong to, the very next day we painted down in that church. or the, Like, yeah, the next day. The very next day we sat in the parking lot and I did an oil painting of this church. So just, uh, I live 50 miles from there. It's very, it's odd how things are coincidental sometimes. Well, anyway... You see, I got a little green smear up there on the tree, but I didn't worry too much about it. I've left that there. So, as usual, there's a lot more information, too, if you want to go to the Historical Society there. There's a lot of information on this lovely church. And um, if you get a chance to visit it, visit Corrales. There's a lot to do in Corrales. Wine festivals and art, uh, art shows and things like that. Neat little place. Anyway, as usual, I really love doing this one. I had a great time doing it. Oh, by the way, when you see my mother's book, I, I obviously did the cover. <laughs> uh, yeah, as usual, I had a good time doing it. Uh, the camera had creeped a little bit on me. Sorry that Matt is at an angle there. And I'm going to sign it. And then, of course, there's... Uh, the credits and there'll be a little uh, the photograph of the church if you want to try one of your own listen you guys ah doodly poop hope you get out and do something creative today get out there and enjoy yourselves take care and i'll see you on the next one bye now